Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today's video, um, the day has come where someone has got all the brawlers to rank 35. Um, and the person is a Charpe from Japan. Um, he's 17, just like myself. Um, and as you can see, he's got all of his brawlers ranked 35, which I'm going to show you now. So he's got 32 brawlers ranked 35. Um, I think I have like 21 or 22. So I was hoping that I'd be the first one, but unfortunately... A Charpe managed to get um, like all of them before I did, which um, I was a bit annoyed, but yeah, like we're good friends and I've been speaking to him quite a lot. And I knew he was going to get it before me, obviously, because um, he was just getting them at like a much faster rate. But definitely a huge congratulations to him. Um, go check out his links in the description. Um, yeah, go check him out, especially his Twitter. He's very active on Twitter. And yeah, he's just insane. So make sure you check him out. Uh, we're gonna be like taking a look at some of his games um, with Mortis, which was his last brawler um, to get rank 35. And let's get right into the gameplay. Okay, guys. So jumping into the first game now, it's gonna be um, obviously Mortis because it was his last brawler to get to rank 35. We're gonna be playing on Hard Rock Mine um, with a Piper Rico Mortis comp. Um, so not the strongest comp here. I definitely think B is gonna be very good here. Um, and yeah, I'm surprised they're not really using B, but um, Apache's going to pick up five gems here, which is really not ideal for Mortis, because when you're playing with Mortis, you just don't want to have um, that many gems, because it's going to mean you're not going to be able to be as aggro. Um, like, as you can see here, Apache has to play this um, really good here. Um, and like, because if he dashes in and dies here, loses five gems, that's probably going to be the game over. So he has to play this really carefully, which he does. Um, he plays amazing here, dodges a lot of shots, and then waits for a good dash on Penny. Dashes, gets his super, and is going to sweep all three of the enemies, which the Rico is also going to help to clean up. So as you can see, yeah, he's got 10 gems now. They just have to wait for this 15 second time to go down, which is going to be pretty easy, um, considering they all have super. Uh, and yeah, they're just going to wait for this to go down. Um, I think he even goes for a kill on this pen here. Yeah, I think he just takes him out, or they take him out. And that's going to be a pretty comfortable first game there, guys. Let's jump in to the next game. Okay, guys, so jumping in to the next game now. Um, they are going to be going on the map um, Death Cap Cave. So, um, Morris is definitely really strong on here and also on Hard Rock Mine, uh, which was the map you saw before. Um, so, they're going to be playing the Penny B Morris comp, which is definitely really good here. Um, they're going to be playing against a Piper, Brook, Carl Com, which is fairly good for them. Um, Apache can just like dash onto the Piper and the, the Brock fairly easily. The Carl's going to be a slightly harder matchup for him, but he doesn't really have to worry about. And that if the Carl is playing on the other side. Um, so Apache can kind of just dash into them. Going to try and dash on the Piper. But with the Carl respawning he has to back off then. And just keep this pressure up. Which he's doing a really good job of. Um, and then he gets hit by the Brock here. Gonna Again he's just going to be constantly going for the Piper. Going to pick up the kill on him there. Um, also hitting the Brock as well. So really well played from him. As you can see they've got the Penny turret up at this point. And that's going to make it incredibly difficult difficult for the opponents to um, move up and just dash easily on the Piper and with the Piper only doing like 635 damage up close there is no way that the Piper can take him out um, so yeah he can just keep like cycling and just dashing onto him and there's absolutely nothing the Piper can do um, especially on this map because it is quite um, like close it has a lot of grass so it's really hard for them to push out um, but yeah there's not really much they can do at this point um, he's going to finish it off with a nice kill against the Carl and then dash onto the, the Brock take him out as well and that's going to be a pretty comfortable game there guys uh, let's jump into the next game okay guys so jumping into the next game um, on gem grab I'm not really sure what this map is because I believe it's a fairly new map in the game I'm going to be playing a Piper B um, Mortis comp here definitely um, you kind of need like B, B is just so strong. I honestly don't really think you can push on ladder without B. Like B is just that good. So we're playing lane versus the Mortis here. So you should definitely be able to uh, win lane here. As you can see, he gets really good value from that super there. Uh, here's two people, so it's going to give him a really aggro position here, um, which he can use against this other Mortis here. He's going to push them back here. Um, a lot of Mortis is not actually dashing in and getting kills. It's just providing a lot of pressure. Um, like because of that, obviously you have that um, cold snake long dash, which is going to be able to like dash in on people. So you can just um, hide behind things like objects and boxes, and people are just not really going to want to push you because they know that you can dash on them um, and take them, and, like take you out. Especially if you have your jump as well, or your um, your bat, sorry, so your super. As you saw there, a great takedown from a sharpie onto the the gene. Then really good kill from him. Looks like the beast stays alive um, with that star power. He does go down though to the Gene. Um, Piper's doing a really good job here of keeping the Mortis off, as well as the Gene off. Um, but you have to be careful here. 
Uh, they both have super, but yeah. A uh, really good kill from Acharpy to end it there. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty comfortable game there, guys. Let's jump in to the next game. Okay, guys, so moving into the next game here, Acharpy is going to be playing um, against a Piper Carl Nita. So um, the Carl and the Nita are obviously really bad matchups for him. But luckily, he, um, they have a Piper, so he can keep dashing in on the Piper. Um, obviously, it's just three dashes, so it's a very good matchup uh, for Mortis here. As long as he can kind of like stay away from the Carl um, and the Neat as much as possible to avoid charging Super. Uh, like, as soon as Neat gets Super, um, there's, <laughs> Mortis can literally do nothing. Um, as you can see here, the Carl spins in on him, but yeah, Atrapi almost picks up the kill on the Piper then, but dash into the wall, unfortunately. So he's going to go down, but it looks like his teammates are doing a really, really good job here. They've got um, Tara. Um, and they're going to be playing B Penny, so back to this comp, which is just incredibly strong. Um, yeah, you definitely need B. B is just so strong right now. Um, so as you see here, the Nita gets super. Um, a really, really good dash from a Sharpie onto the Piper, and he gets two gems from it, um, which means they only need five more gems now. Um, he manages to keep uh, the turret alive there, and as you can see, the Penny's got another turret. Uh, like, amazing dash. <laughs> dashes from a Sharpe then gonna get his bats onto the Piper as well so incredible play from him there he does have six gems now so it does have to be a bit careful like he can't play as aggro as he wants to because um, if he goes in and dies with a six gem uh, they could definitely potentially lose here they do have to be careful of this Carl though they definitely can't leave him here he could definitely end up taking them out he's gonna try and dash it away from it and just have his B to kind of like protect him and help him survive then which he is gonna do so they're gonna pick up the win in that game there guys let's jump in to the next game Okay guys, so jumping straight into the next game then, um, so back on the same map, going to be up against a Piper, um, a Nita, and a Jean Lane, so a very, very strong comp, um, a Sharpe is going to dash right in on the pipe then, take him out, he is going to go down, but um, he doesn't want to feed the Nita Bear here, so he's going to play it very passively um, here, like he definitely doesn't want to feed Nita Bear, so he's going to try and like avoid the Nita, and just keep dashing on the Piper if he can, but as you can see, he's doing everything he can to avoid this Nita here, he's only got shot once by it, um, but the Penny has already got turret here, so it's get definitely be really good for a Sharpe's team here, be able to push up with the, the pressure of this Penny turret, looks like a Sharpe is looking for a dash in on the Piper here, but he's definitely just looking to take someone out, which he does, takes out the Nita with the help of the Penny then, um, also, this Piper is playing very aggro here, but it's like a Sharpie is like trying to bait his shots out. So the Piper does not actually heal up then. Uh, definitely really well played from a Sharpie then. He's going to um, just chill there. He doesn't really need to do anything, but then his um, Penny goes down then. So he has to dash in and get nine gems, which is really not ideal for him because, like as I said previously in the video, he doesn't want um, gems just because it makes it a lot harder um, for him because he has to play a less aggro um, than he would like to. Um, but yeah, he still can apply a bit of pressure, but he just has to be um, very cautious like when he's dashing in obviously because he doesn't want to die But in like, incredible play from him there. A Sharpie is gonna dash in get that last gem for his team then and he's gonna try like avoid being pulled um, thanks to his teammate then that'd be uh, but yeah at this point he can just dash away he knows that they're both um gonna go down then but he does an amazing job then a sharp he's gonna pick up the win in that game there guys let's jump in to the last game okay guys so jumping into the last game now to get um his last brawler to rank 35 get his 32nd brawler to rank 35 that's just even that's just so crazy to think about um but obviously he must have been so nervous in this game to get his last rank 35 like i know i would have been I mean, anyone in this position would have been so nervous to get, um, like, the last rank 35 after getting um, 20, oh, 31 rank 35s and just needing one more to complete um, is basically basically complete the game, having every brawler rank 35. It's the craziest achievement um, you can get in brawl stars is getting a rank 35, and to have every single brawler is just insane. So let's get back into the game here. So we're going to be playing against the Piper, um, a Gene and a Daryl. He's been playing against a lot of Pipers which does allow him to have like a good matchup pretty much every game which is um, fairly helpful to him because as you can see if he was up against just a Jean and a Daryl it definitely would not be good. Say if they were, um, the enemies were playing like the B mid um, it would definitely be a lot harder for them to, to get these wins here but they are doing very well here. They've got 8 gems already, got the Penny Turret up and the, the B is going to take down their Jean so very well played there. Um, a Sharpie is just like doing a really good job here waiting to dash in on the um, Piper. He's going to use his bats then really well played from him um, like waiting for the Jean to become um, 
uh, like lose his shield so he can actually um, hit him with that super. It's going to dash right on the pipe here. He knows that he only has one gem, so he can go down here. Um, his teammates have got 10 gems. Um, so yeah, it doesn't look like they're going to have to stop it. Um, the Dow is going to roll in. Um, the one health is going to save the beat for a second, but a Sharpie can just pick those gems right back up then. Um, so now like it's just the Penny or Sharpie that can die. Um, or that uh, like need to die for the reset here. The B does a good job taking out the Piper. They still have to be really careful here about this Gene and Daryl. Um, but it looks like a Sharpie is just going to dash up here. He is going to stay alive and that is going to do it. For the rank 35 Mortis, as you can see he got MVP. And that is going to be it there guys. As you can see he got his last rank 35 in the game. Okay guys so that is going to be it for the video. A huge thanks and shout to Acharpe for sending me the gameplays and letting me use them in this video. Um, he is obviously an insane player so make sure to check his Twitter out in the description um, and say like GG's and well played because it's obviously been an insane grind that he's been on to get these rank 35s. 32 rank 35s. Absolutely insane but make sure to check him out um, and definitely give me suggestions for um, like new videos in the comments. But apart from that guys make sure to like, comment, subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Peace!